That's the sound of a rubber tree. This sensor picks up tiny electrical signals and sends them to Helga Jacobson's computer. She's created a program that assigns each frequency a musical note. It's a very sad, sad symphony. It's very low key, low energy, and um, very melodic. Run down and overgrown, this conservatory is closing its doors for good next week. Some of the plants will be moved to a new location. Not all can be saved, like the Norfolk pine, which is centuries old, and the palm trees. They've almost fought the building that they're in, so they've kind of eroded certain parts of it and made it a space that's incapable of being maintained. This is the Monstera. Jacobson contacted the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra and they shared with her their layout for the symphony. She applied it here. So these crotons are the viola section, much like they would be in the orchestra. And then behind them is the woodwinds. One of my favorites is this agave whale tongue. Um, and, and somehow when you look at it, uh, you have this personification of a French horn. So that's the one that I chose for it. Her work is inspiring questions and the sharing of memories. Fern Surrette is visiting the conservatory for the final time. He looks forward to eventually hearing the plant symphony. Because in science, we're always discovering new things. You know, the, um, the energies of different living organisms. We don't understand all the energies. And so if she has tapped into a new form, which is more of a sound, great. And more power to her to express that and to find out what the plant is saying. Uh, there's a real sense of sadness. Uh, there's a real sense of loss. I really feel like they're friends of mine, like I know them. <laughs> A new conservatory opens next year. Some of these plants will be saved, many will die. But Jacobson's recordings lets her capture all of them together for the last time. I give them voice and allow people to hear, hear where they're at, you know. I think that they're very angry and sad that they're, yeah, not able to be here anymore. But through the music, a lasting legacy. Aaron Broman, CBC News, Winnipeg.